tournament arc continues. What is the most important plot points going on right now? Angelica Redemption. Angelica, sad backstory, right? Parents died off, poor, got convinced by this dragon dude to, you know, marry into them at the cost of a lot of money. But they don't even have the money. They got to win the tournament to get the money. So now, Osan, us, we can basically <laughs> prevent them from winning. And then we can cancel the arranged marriage or some shit. I think that's what's going on. The sponsor champion is looking like absolute trash. Those dragons are trash. The other champion who is the wolf guy seems kind of based so far, I guess. And that's pretty much it right now. It's just Rick and Angelica against the world. Let's begin today's reaction. Training session? Alright. Steel balls. <laughs> 30 kilos each one. So we have 120 kilos all together, plus tied at the stomach. What is this? We're we getting dragged? Rick's gonna run. Rick's gonna run and drag her. Is this actually training though? It should be the other way around. Because Angelica is just getting dragged by Rick. The steel balls are not acting as extra resistance training. Right? Angelica should be a, the one leading. Like the person doing the training right now, the workout is all Rick right now. <laughs> Maybe the workout was just for Rick and not Angelica. Because he's getting the workout here. I just feel like this is just pointless. <laughs> That's kind of crazy that the ending scene has Angelica part of the crew. It's Ori Hulk and Fist with Rick and Angelica, just to show how important Angelica actually is to the story. <laughs> well, maybe this could be just a Coliseum. Is this a Coliseum? I'm not really sure, but it's good to see Angie actually be important to the story after that. <laughs> Does it? Does it really? Being pulled along by someone who's faster than you teaches your body how to move faster. I guess you get used to that speed that you've never reached before, so you get fast. I don't know. Baby bird running. Six more hours. Just a bit more. Just a little six more hours. She about to go to the afterlife right now. That's crazy that she ran barefoot. Like your feet will be fucked up. Even Rick's wearing shoes. <laughs> Look at that, bro. Barbecued feet. Stinky. Look at the fucking steam emanating from that feet, guys. Angelica feet. Would anybody wooden chant? Hold up. Here we go. Let's go. <laughs> okay. At least Angie was on our feet. Rick is just getting rolled here. Three times? Did you? That's just a warm up. It's just a warm up. That's true. Rick is just conveniently just ignoring everything she's just saying. Angie's right. Angie voice acting going crazy today. Looks like she's got accustomed to it. No, she gave up? Mental health? That's for her pussies. All over the kingdom. 15 minutes to check in the entire kingdom, because that's how fast he is. All part of the training. Hmm, he died. Let me resurrect him. Oh, she gives him magic to revive? Or at least mana? 
I mean, with all these kind of trains, you can't really be mad that he's so OP, right? Brother had to fucking go through the most harsh, cruel training ever to get this power. He's died more than Subaru? What if Rick Gladiator was in ReZero? I don't know. Used to dying. You're my hero? Don't give up, Rick? I love you? What'd you say? Between your regrets after quitting and your current stuff. Ah, yeah. The current suffering is nothing compared to, you know, all the regrets. And then we just gotta remind Angie of like all the suffering that she went through. Yeah? You wanna abolish it? She's anti noble? First female knight special class. All right, that's like a special reserve title that no one's ever done before. I mean, at this rate with the training that she's going with Rick, 100% she's gonna be like that. It's actually crazy to imagine like the Angie that we saw in the beginning when she was just getting corrected by us and now, like the amount of development that's gonna happen and continues to happen. その。Imaginary sword, hand sword, or a sword. Can you do it? Okay. Chopping attacks? Training off screens? I saw that. I saw that. You see the jiggle there? Boing. Ooh. Wait, that's Angie right now? Yo, yo. What is that aura? Look at her hair and everything. What happened to her? Look, what kind of training did Vina give her? What happened? This is not the Angie I remember from five minutes ago. One shot. One kick. What the fuck happened to Angel? That's not what I remember, bro. Holy shit. I don't know. It looks like she's in race. I don't want to die. It's just traumatized. She's yelling, training. I don't want to die. It's also hilarious how, again, the referees literally have, like, ref, t like, jerseys. Like, the uniform in, like, fucking soccer or, like, basketball or some shit. <laughs> You went crazy. You don't remember? Since the champion's belt. Oh, it's the cat girl that loves Mr. Broston. Hey, 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 hey. That girl's reserved for somebody else, man. Exactly. This guy. And he still has to fucking baldy as a slave, bro. Remember that guy in the beginning of the arc? We corrected him so hard. Now he's just basically his, like, driver. Look at that dodge. So smooth. Yeah. She loves Broston. 
I'm sorry, man. The cat girl does not like pretty boys like you. The cat girl likes big, burly men like him. <laughs> Father? Father owns the tavern? No, we can't have you enter. And I wonder how much stronger Angie is now compared to everyone else back at home with all these trainings. I bet she's on another level compared to them. Yeah, she did. Wow, they're all cheering her up. Dude, the members of the Ori Halcom Fist are straight up just like motivating Angelica and cheering her up and believing in her. And then there's the lolly. Don't know what's going on, but you can do it. <laughs> Very cute. Hundred and four time. <laughs> Rick, just like master, just like apprentice, bro. This is the real deal. Wow, look at this lineup, bro. Ooh, who is this lady? Is there anyone else that really stands up amongst the dudes? I mean, I think it's the dudes beside Mr. Broston that's the most important, right? We got the champion who's the wolf dude, and then the dragon guy whose head's cut off in the camera. All right, what's the matchups? Ooh, yeah, I'm sorry, bro. You're gonna die immediately first round. There's no way Geith loses to you. There's no way Geith loses round one. Okay, Angie versus Doug Heap. That's a funny name. Angie's gonna win. Angie, fuck him up. <laughs> That's so... F I mean, she made it to the main bracket. I'm not looking down on her, but it's like, come on, who's gonna win? This dog girl or Rick? Alright, yeah, Mr. Broston's gonna win here. I'm glad that none of the serious matchups are happening immediately. Donny Fisher, bald... <laughs> Okay, what the fuck is this guy? Wait, look at Donnie Fisher. He literally has gills for ears. He just faces just red. It's just a red bald human with gills, like fish stuff coming out of his ears. Dude, I'm baldy. You both competing for it? Oh, Eddie Grace. Yeah, Kelvin's gonna win, man. I mean, look, Eddie looks like a Giga Chad for sure. Look at this dude, but the champion's not gonna lose immediately. Let's go, Kelvin! Bald coach! Coach has so much faith in Kelvin. Who is gonna win? Like, how is Mr. Broston gonna lose? I don't think Kelvin or Geith are gonna win. Like, the strongest being here is Mr. Broston. Like, the orc is not gonna lose. But because he's so strong, I feel like maybe some bullshit's gonna happen. And I would like Angelica to win. If Angie won, that'd be very interesting. Somehow, some way, Angie wins the tournament. That'd be super hype. I mean, the tournament is for Angie. I mean, Rick beating Geeth on behalf of Angie. I don't know if I want that to happen. I feel like... Angie should settle her own affairs and we shouldn't have to like save a damsel in distress. Angie is strong. She's gone through the training. I hope she clutches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and they said this shit's impartial. Cap, this shit's rigged. True, at the end of the day, their goal isn't to win the tournament. Their goal is to just make as much money as possible. So that could, I mean, the winner actually does not even matter then. I don't know. Huh? She straight up didn't fucking know. Anyways, that's her Angelica. 
I'm getting more and more warmed up to Angie. Her humor is funny. Champion and coach? I mean, we don't need to take the belt. We just, we just want the fucking yellow orb on it, right? Just take the orb and give him the belt. Come on. あの頃のお前を思い出すな。でかくはないが剣を通のメントでベスト<笑> Okay, literally got humbled. Immediately fucking off screen. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Damn, best form. Yeah. <laughs> あいつの戦争は本物だ。誰にも襲わらずこの強さを。初めて敗北を知り、あの強い奴に負けようとさらに鍛えて勝利をつかむ。This is when he first won. The soundtrack is hype. Woo! The soundtrack that was going crazy. I just... Even with all that training, like, I don't think they're even fucking close to the Ori Halcom Fist. Like, am I crazy for thinking that? Like, these S-Rank adventures that we have, there is no way Kelvin or Geith or anyone here could possibly even, like, compare. The power skin is kind of ambiguous. I don't believe it. There's no way that Kelvin is on Mr. Broston's level. <laughs> Herman Mueller. <laughs> Herman Miller, the chairs. Bro's gonna get folded like a fucking chair, bro. <laughs> Nice punch. Come on, bro. I don't even know what the fuck hit him there. He just hit the ground so hard, and then there's a bunch of rubble. And then, is that his arm? Is, that a, is this a lariat happening? Ma yeah, it is a lariat. Yeah, 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 that's his forearm right there. Right through here. Just... Yeah, he's pretty strong. Yeah, he's pretty strong, but I don't think he's as strong as Rick. I mean, the first attack he did, the wind pressure, I saw it. But you've seen w Rick's wind pressure, bro. His wind pressure literally gives the enemies concussions. かつてスポンサー枠でこれほどの選手がいたでしょ。やはり強いですわね。でも不思議な奴だな。あれだけのパワーとタフネスが。Is that because he's complacent because he doesn't actually give a fuck about fighting and he just gets carried by his pure talent and strength or he's smurfing right now again to rig the bets? Maybe it's both? I don't know. <laughs> The poor dog girl. He just spun her. <laughs> dude, Doug Fisher! Doug Fisher just got. Dude, this is the car treatment. Right, you could just fucking blast the car out of the stadium, bro. Holy shit. Eddie Grace! Kelvin! She read him. Oh, he already knew? But a read is if you already know what's gonna happen. What? That's just a fucking racial passive buff advantage. What? Dog people. Olfactory senses, different senses. You can just like feel it better. Future. 
fellas, we have ob we have advanced observation hockey. Right? We have, you know, Rimuru's ability to detect the future as well. This is future scenting. Different. Smelling, bro. You're sensing the future with your smell. Wow. Mm. Oh! Oh! Does he like the crowd to cheer for him? What what is it? Is he putting on a show? I don't know. Is, is he being a good guy for the kids? Exactly. I don't know, right? You you can do it, Kelvin. Woo! So to Kelvin, it's it's not just about winning. It's about putting on a show and inspiring kids and having a good time. Maybe. Round two, Angie versus Keith next time, man. No one believes in Angie. I don't believe him. I'm sorry, I don't. B uh. What's the word? You again! No, you filthy lizard! <laughs> what the fuck is this? You got spaghetti, you got like sausage spaghetti, you got fried rice underneath, and you have a big meat. Like, holy shit, where are you getting all this food from? <laughs> Awful acting! Called out! <laughs> いやはや、これは参りましたな。お別れでしょう。弟と婚約者の試合なのですから、近くで。ブロスハンオーバー。ギース。うん。あの、対戦相手ですわよ。オッケー。うん。てめえが人間のメスか。ぶつけんのってす
It's just that she's got to get used to this death-like fucking training where you may die multiple times. But that's part of the training. You just get resurrected. Easy clap. And then... The, I, I guess the later half of the training was learning how to use your hands like a blade. And Rina taught us that we saw a little bit at the end of the episode. And Angie's goal is to become like the first female knight. Uh, I forget the exact title, but there's like a huge title that she's aiming for. So top 16, the brackets are obviously rigged. And Geith doesn't need to win the tournament to get the money. Because with the underground betting, all you have to do is kind of smurf and look strong against weak people or some shit and then he could like i don't know lose against a simple match and we can bet against him and i guess that's the idea like instead of just winning the whole tourney you could also just have a rigged match and get money like that i'm not really sure kelvin pretty strong geet pretty strong but again like compared to people like mr broston i just don't think they really compare at all but next match next episode sorry it's gonna be uh, Angie versus Geith. The sword attack, the hand sword attack already being shown makes me kind of kind of anxious because, you know, this is supposed to be a trump card and we already used it and it's just a small slash. So it's like, next episode could be really bad for Angie, but we'll see what happens. That's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.